You're gonna be manual muscle testing extensor indices. So what I'm gonna have you do, starting with the closed fist, extend that second finger out and just add a little bit of wrist extension in. Good. Let's do that one more time for us. Perfect. So for this one, we're gonna leave the wrist in neutral. She's gonna have her finger extended and held out. Because of its insertion on the middle of this would be the dorsal digital expansion, I'm going to be pushing down on her finger, asking her to hold this position. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. And for our concentric, I'm just gonna turn her hand to the side here. So I'm gonna to try to resist that whole action. So she's gonna push out against me, push out against me all the way through and add that wrist extension in. Now, I lost my positioning in there. So again, we're gonna change her hand just a little bit, making it easier for me. So in this case, I can provide smooth resistance through that whole motion, like so. Let's do that one more time. Again, push out against me, push out against me all the way through. Excellent. Now to lengthen extensor indices, because of its extension happening at each of the joints in the finger, um, we're basically going to start by curling it up. So I'm gonna passively curl it all the way up like so. And then we're going to add in the final component, which is wrist flexion. So we have flexion at the wrist, MCP, and both IP joints. So again, start by curling the finger and add the wrist at the 